What's up, y'all? It's Brantley Gilbert here, and we're at a show here in Illinois. It's an acoustic show tonight. We're just kind of chilling, hanging out. One of my good friends pulled up to the show tonight carrying this thing. This is the Mod Bug Country Born Modern Buggy. I'd like to introduce y'all to my good friend, Mr. Earl Williams. You got to tell them everything you've been telling me about this thing. This All right. Awesome. Well, I had it, I, I brought you one about a year ago, and I told you we've been, been working on some cool stuff, and we've been we went to the lab for a year on this thing. We made it more off-road. We made it bigger. The issue with the other one was a little bit too small. You couldn't get somebody big and long in the thing. So we made it to where, you know, someone almost seven foot tall could sleep in the thing. Literally. When, when he says that, he means literally. This dude is six foot six. How's the room in there, Bubba? It's good. It's good. AC blows cold as well. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, what were you saying? <laughs> anyway, someone really big can sleep in that thing. <laughs> so we did that we like I said we put the off-road tires on it we put an awning on the thing we didn't have the awning before so you can sit in the shade cool off we put a big old tent on the top of the thing we beefed up our fenders you can actually step on those things even that big fella in there can actually get on those fenders <laughs> we gonna leave I love these tires they take that through that creek up that hill to anywhere you wanted to go Absolutely. The biggest thing, their issue with RVs are they put these little bitty axles, little bitty tires on, they say go camp. You ain't going to camp. If you're going to get through terrain like that, you're going to need some all-terrain tires with heavy-duty axles. Let me ask you this. What do I need to pull this thing? Can I pull it with a, I mean, I know a truck will pull it, a car will pull it with no trouble. Could a Polaris pull this thing? A Polaris can pull this. That thing right over there could pull this thing. It's only got a 150-pound ton weight. It's only 1,100 pounds. So... You know, I go to uh, Colorado every year with Lee to elk hunt. We could hook this thing to the Polaris and drive it up that mountain and camp in it if, if need be. You sure can. That's clutch, man. What you got going on in the back? So in the back, again, way different. What I dropped you a year ago has stainless. This is solid surface. We had a little Yeti cooler, good cooler, but now we got a 12 volt. This is a 12 volt refrigerator and cooler. Get out of here. So no ice needed. No ice needed. We've got plenty of storage. This has got a fresh water tank in here, so you can fill it up. It's got an outside shower. You can spray yourself off. If you want to brush your teeth, you got a sink. So we've added a lot of little extra features on this cabinetry, blackstone griddle to cook. Um, the other cool thing is full fiberglass door with removable solder. You can get out of here. Thing off and move it away from you. So this up here I love the first time. This is like coming up this ladder, getting in here, dude. You, you're up off the ground, away from all the critters. I mean, this is just clutch. Yeah, we've got multiple decors. We do mountain scenes, different colors. Um, so you got a color you want to match. You got a truck you want to match. And you got a color it fits you. So man, I, I spend a lot of time outside. We spend a lot of time hunting. But Lee and Tiffany Lukoski probably spend more time outside, more time hunting, camping than anybody I know. And they've already reached out to you on this thing. Absolutely. Two days from now, we're going to be delivering one to Iowa. They are taking that with them out to Montana for a month elk hunt. But I think you were supposed to be on it. Yeah, you don't get to go on this year. I was. This Nickelback tour kind of wiped that out. But, man, I got to tell you, I cannot wait to hook this thing up to something and get it out in the woods. This is awesome, brother job another job well done just for the record this guy don't miss when he does stuff he does it right and this is done right hell yeah let's go Ken. yes good 